All right, here we go once again onto the breach. Any time now. Ah, there we go. Age tech. Ah, oh, nostalgia. Greatest gaming company on earth. the good stuff, man. All right. Back onto the breach. Nine breaker. Literally the only thing that can cripple me. Prolonged exposure can lead to insanity. Amount of damage. Training. I wish to blow up stuff. Yes. The whole thing about Nine Breaker is you do all this training. Is is you blow up stuff. You get burned. You get shot at. Multiple different ways. Destroy the barriers as quickly as possible. And eventually, you get to fight Nine Ball, who's the namesake of. Let's begin. This game, I guess, because he's a Nine Breaker, place an evil AI robot that was once human. But you know, his, his backstory is complicated. He's the big villain, the big bad of Armor Core. Everyone fears him. Everyone knows his theme. Like when you hear the Dark Souls boss theme, you think, Ah, oh, yeah, no good music. When you play this game, and you fight against nine balls. You 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 only have an existential threat. You know it's not going to be an easy fight. That's like Armor Core 101. When you face nine balls, expect random crap to happen. Do not take him lightly. There we go. Oh yeah, am I being timed? 
Oh shit, yeah I am. People think Dark Souls lore is complicated, let me tell you. All from software lore is complicated. Because Armor Core has some of the weirdest lore. And it's easier to understand if you just separate into like sub universes. You have the main universe, which is like one to two. And then you have the other universes. Uh, I got bronze because it wasn't fast. Ugh. Nasty. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. When you go through it all, it can be pretty fun. I mean, Armor Core has a lot to offer for reading material and history. And you can spend a good couple of hours reading the stuff. But. The best way to experience it, in my opinion, which I don't know if anyone actually wants, but I'm gonna say it anyway. It's just to play the game, just pick up the game and play it. You know, if if you you have like a sibling who has a disc or like you know, an uncle, I mean, someone is older than you. I mean, that's that's for that's for game, sure. I mean, like I was lucky enough. I basically grew up with my brother, and we both played this game to, like, settle our disputes, like, active arena fights. <laughs> and I mean, like, over some of the stupidest things, we'd have some of the most epic battles, like, over a cup of pudding, we'd have an AC fight, and it'd be, like, a best out of 20. I mean, I was losing, but that wasn't for long, and it's the good old days, you know? Selling your brotherly disputes with giant robot battle on the PS1. God, I got my ass handed to me a lot though. I don't know, I think it was until like, I became like marginally older that I got better. And he had a hard time actually taking me out. And then like Armor Core 4 was out. I was like waiting for the longest time to get my hands on a copy and get an Xbox. And when I finally did, I was like, oh yeah, finally, I can play this. And I enjoyed that so much and hated it. I think I enjoyed Nexus more than Armor Core 4. Just because the next one you can actually go ahead. Oh, that's beautiful. I got pay attention right now. Oh my god. I got wrecked by Bazooka Father. Huh. Armor Core 4 has probably the best story, I would say, but gameplay wise, they didn't flush out the mechanics until 4 answer for like the whole flight system. 
and extensions are kind of useless. They're only good for, like, boost thrust. Um, well, they're not extensions, I guess I should say. Uh, the additional stuff you, like, throw on. There are a lot of weird things to do it for. But for answer was definitely the better game. No, I think I don't think anyone will actually play that. No, I have seen people play it though. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But if I had to recommend Armor Core for someone to like hop on and play, uh, I would recommend not doing Nexus. Nexus story can be a little rough and far less forgiving. It does have, like, special endings for loss and victory conditions. But, um... Ninebreaker has a better control scheme, but, you know, you don't do missions, the missions are fun. And Ninebreaker has no missions, just arena and testing, and eventually you face Nineball and you get your ass kicked a bunch until you defeat him. Uh... Yeah, it is a recurring theme in the game now I think about it. What to recommend? Yeah, I guess Last Raven. Last Raven's the most fun. It came out in 2010. I remember when my brother got it. And it was like nostalgia trip, you know? I was 10, he was 20. We got together, we started playing that game hard. And then the verses happened. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I think that was the time I started actually, like, consistently winning against my brother. You know, he was going to college at that point, so... He got off his game pretty quick. If he, if he, if he still kept up with his arm core skills... Nah, I'd probably be still losing real hard. So I guess it's pretty sentimental about the series, now I think about it. Yeah, it brought me and my brother closer. Who wouldn't love that, you know? Hmm. Do I have the Chungus legs? Uh, I only have these, Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy! Big. Really big. Big. Yeah, that's Chungus. Three, four. Yeah. And here we have Jacko's leg. You know, not the pose. Jacko. But I think about it. Evangelo, his voice actor changed. Nexus, he was like a Russian or a Slav. You know. And then in, um,. Last Raven, he became like this really edgy, like American voice. Amy accuracy. Who has the best accuracy? Oh, you do. Oh. Uh, I do like these arms personally. Oh, these are good too. Ah. Ah. Yeah, we go with these. I'm gonna go with the build. I normally use this arm when I do a lightweight build. Useless. I 
Except for these, I like the orbitals. Orbitals can kick ass any day. Just gotta know how to use them right. So there is one I, I generally do hate, and that would be this one right here. This, this Kitharagi one. It, it came out in 3, it, it, it's kind of stupid. Kind of not, I mean... The concept for this was in Armor Core 2, Another Age. And I think you had like 4 shots with it. But it, it shot out like these big chunky lasers that do it just stand in the air and shoot like a short volley. And, I, and the thing I liked about 3 was that these actually shot like more. But uh, overall they don't track like the other ones do. Which are cheaper to use and uh, well I mean they don't require as much energy. I mean these are just they take up both back slots, they're not that great. If it didn't, I'd probably say, oh, yeah, no, maybe it's not so bad, but... It takes up both back slots. I, I, I need those, man. I need those. Okay. I need something more substantial than a rifle. Not enough damage. More bullets, more bullets, more bullets. Let's see. Good range train. Range is good. Ammo sucks. Attack power great. Ammo really bad. Uh, what's your energy usage? You are an energy. Oh my god. No. Uh. Yeah, well, I should probably do a pistol build. Ah, oh, I love it. Missile, missile for days. Rocket, rocket. Grenade launcher, grenade launcher. Energy oven, energy, energy. Useful stuff, dude. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is uh, basically the rock. Yeah, I guess I can say it's the rock. I mean, not like the rock, but. And number for one, nine ball used the rock, which is an energy rifle. I mean, very good, very good weapon. Number for one. Um, but I think it's this version. This is really good in number for three. Um, I don't really remember using it in next throw. Well, quite frankly, I don't remember. I stopped. I think I stopped using it a long while. I don't remember why. I don't remember. Wow, that's the high usage. And that might be why. I probably couldn't fly around as much. My style of fighting, I like to fly. Uh, but I do have heavy legs. Uh, that's gonna be 36. You know, I think this will work for this build. Never shows me lock time. God, nab it. Uh, just give me 12, but these, these, these shoot weird. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about the nymphs. They never shoot. They don't really, they, they sort of spiral or corkscrew. These have like a short arc, but like hit straight mostly. This one, I am not. It's Better in three, not so great. They're always reliable with this thing. This thing's reliable. Oh heck. Um, I'll be fighting, I want a quick lock on. Yeah, I think I only have two. Alright. What am I sporting? Increase generator, emits lock with cancellation. Increase laser blade. Well, I am using an energy rifle. So I would like to have some energy parts. Uh, I could get a better core that has more optional. But I like the solid ammunition weapon core. 
more damage. I am greedy for that damage output. How about this one? This is a 20, yeah. This one would make sense, but it has lower armor. Mode. I'm gonna use it. I loved using it in 3. That was fun. And Silent Line. But the control scheme is not for the faint of heart if you ever play any of the armor cores. Uh, don't reload time. Whoa. I like missiles. We can take out the cancellation pulse. Uh, attack power. Increase energy weapon reload time. I like reduce consumption. Uh, I like stability. You know, I'm gonna do with what I got. This has to be good. We're testing it. We're testing it. Uh, I need to test. Uh, right. Main system. Engaging test. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a uh, high. Yeesh. Alright, how are we doing? Okay. I'm feeling wider lockbox. Test with mode disengaged. At least a good lock time. I, I want fast lock on. I don't want a slow lock on. I want it fast. Just for the field of vision. Probably should. Oh man, yeah, I definitely need to. Okay. Or for this, that that should do something of use for me. All right. Well, that's long and wide, but I mean, it is a better missile lock time. I can live with six lock on. I only got like two max and a four max. So this would be better. I just need to. I need to see where angle is. So I want it long lengthwise and not width. If it's long. If it's, if it's wide. Main it's, system. Oh, it's Engage wide the wrong way. way. That is a fast lock on, I won't lie. Like, really fast, but like. Uh, I don't know, I'm not satisfied. It's the right direction, just not the right lock box at once. Target destruction verified. Test mode disengaged. You know, I think I should go with the cheaper energy weapon because it consumes less energy. I think the rifle, the enemy rifle, is holding me back with this build. It's part of the problem. It's mainly the lockbox. I need to readjust the lockbox. The weapons do just dictate how wide it is, but I want the general shape to be better. Oh, wait. Wait, no, horizontal, vertical. Oh! It says right down at the very bottom. Find a nice look. Hey, this one... This one's definitely a fear, my brother. Uh, could miss a lot of time, but... 
It's the average lock time that really gets me. You know, like, overall, that's not good for your right weapon. You just go pure missile build and make yourself a giant missile platform. That will work, but... No, not me. Not right now. Not right now. Okay. All right, let's work with this. Main system, engaging test mode. I mean, it's doing it by one, but it's not outputting the damage necessary to destroy a fairly standard MC. The core does more damage over the time. Target destruction mm. verified. Test mode disengaged. Am I happy with this damage output? No. Am I happy with this energy consumption? Yes. Can I live with it in the long run? Maybe. Oh my kid, this is nine breaker. After a few fights, I might not feel the same way. Fast red bazooka. Oh, we have the napalm missiles and spray missiles. Okay, interesting. Good head unit. You know, I'll face you, sir. Let's see, you can either be an arranged guy or a very upfront and aggressive guy. What are you gonna do when they come for you? Oh god. Stuck in three in my head. One. HP at 50%. Danger. Yeah, no, he's got a... He's got a cancellation. Rough. That was rough and sad. Energy regen was terrible. Well... You know, I probably could get away with this build. The one thing I didn't think about with a radiator. I could probably put in a really large radiator in this and get away with that. Because, you know, I, I do like the Linden. It's a pretty good radiator. But... There are better ones. Like the Regora. Eh, it's okay. It's not better than Regora, I will say that. I found this pretty okay, though. Alright. We are doing a test match. Alright, two car solids, arm accuracy, leg weight, fast speed. That core runs hot with the over boost. Let's see what type of thrust he has. He could either have a really slow one that burns, or he could have a really fast one that burns. And it's a close quarter fight. That was good. That was good. 
So, how do I fare against another guy who has a new performance book? All rounder. Okay. Cool. Yeah, fight me with reverse choice. Alright, I want to see who's reverse. Really? Okay. You know, I'll fight Rich Stitch. You know, he's a sniper. An aerial one, one that likes to fly. You know, it's like lore as to why developers made those. I forget. I forget. It's been so long. Wait, did Mimisle even get to him? Ah, I can't use this! You cheeky waffle! Ah, he utilized the stage against me. I had no chance. You know what? You know, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I've been nice, too nice at this point. I'm gonna build my guaranteed build. Step one. The head. The head is the most important part, too, the core. Radiator. Of course, my head. What am I thinking? Okay, I'm missing something here in my head. What's the... The arm? No, these are the right arms, I think.
I don't see what's going on. What am I missing right now? Is it the leg weights different than this works? And both Nexus and Fatline. I'm, I'm missing something here. I'm forgetting something crazy I did. What did I do? To make this work. Oh, it's been so long! Secondary weapons? Whatever. Yeah. Great volley. Second volley. Third. I just realized I didn't equip any of my, uh, Done so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that felt good. And the antennas there on the back for ECM. Most of my builds, I find ECM to be the most annoying thing. Anytime I have an issue in an armor 
for it, it's ECM. Even in one, when ECM first came out, it annoyed me so much, I devoted most of my builds to counter ECM. And that philosophy is pretty much ingrained into me. I am just done with ECM. Worst arena fight this guy. Uh, one thing I hate about this one, you can't choose dang arena. Oh, never fair. Never have a fair fight. Only be in a place with lots of things to hide. Oh! I hate your legs. I hate your flying. I hate your hover. You suck. Ah. Oh. Dang But I just got to show you that in Armor Core. That if you have a good build, it can fight most things, but there will always be a kryptonite to your build. Always! That's right, jerk, I'm gonna fight you again. You need to go down hard. Uh, I can work with this. Oh, the f He's, his, all his armor is from his core and his arms, using a high energy rifle. He doesn't fly in the air, he's just a hover unit. Arguably, the only hover unit with like any good leg weight, but is how to break his legs. I need to break his legs. How do I break legs? Oh. As long as it's in a contained space with a low ceiling, I'm talking low. I could outright dish him out with a tank. But as long as there's a high ceiling, you can get away. I need better turning speed. I need turning speed. No, oh, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's what I wanted. There we go. Turning ability. Alright, not so great, not so great. Better! Terrible armor. Yeesh. Okay. I think this is an arm for two. Okay, basically this is the best one. Uh, become the giant snail. Oh, the stale. Fine. Oh, don't tell me it has terrible leg weight. Uh, I'm looking for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great leg weight. That's terrible. Uh, let's go back. 
find one that will actually work that won't give me the overweight. Okay. Terrible. Okay. The moving ability could breaking. Turning ability worse. No. Okay, so hover tank, no, no. Actual tank, yes. All right, I gotta make do. Um, okay, step one. The new gun's not doing it for me. I don't feel it. I need... Something that can hit and do damage. It's reliable. I'll do Alright. I think I can make do with this. Let's work with this. Let's see what we can do. We can do this. We got this. We got this. Oh, yeah, he's a flyer. Scatling they did. Honestly, the one thing I hated about third gen armor core, which is the third era, I should say. You know, third era is from three to last three. Even. You know, in three, the machine gun shot consistently. And then they made it not video game accurate, but real world accurate to a machine gun that has overheating and needs to cool after a certain interval of shots. Well, Listen, you know, but we're like in the future, a dystopian future, but like one is the future. All, all the big manufacturers, you know, they've already solved the problem with the overheating thing. So we got futuristic metal, alright? Armor Core has that, it's a plot point where you got, ooh, special new experimental metal. Guard it, transport it, do this, do that. And it has new unique properties. You know? It's, <laughs> ah, whatever. You know, when they made the machine guns more accurate in the real world, it, it kind of annoyed me. They were really good, and then they became not so good. Uh, yeah, I, well, the damage is... I mean, it's still valuable, it just... Annoys me to no end that I cannot use my machine guns. Okay. Hey, buddy. You're not looking too hot. There we go. Ah. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. 
Show me who are the top 30. Ah. You know what? Yes, I would like to fight a guy with hover legs, because I want to beat the ever-living snot out of the hover leg. God dang. Come back here, you. I got you with fire! Ha ha! Alright, do more damage. Oh, maybe not. Okay, you in. This is damage. Alright. Right. Weapon arms. I forgot. I forgot about the weapon arms. That's right. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Okay, a good beehive build. That's an option. I like this build though. I really do. But it's the closest thing to my beehive philosophy right now. It's the one I'm making other builds of I have already in my head. We're going heavyweight beehive. It involves this core. And the bees. You might say, wait, the bees need? No, no, I mean the bees. Wait, did I get new legs? Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. I like the reverse joint better. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta love that jump performance, man. You don't got the hop, you don't got the stop. Ah, that's right, yeah. No biosensors, right? Biosensors are important. By the generator or the radiator. Main system engaging test. Target is 
Construction verified. Test mode disengaged. Yeah, this will do. Now I just need all the energy weapon parts and except for the laser blade and shields. And I'm I think I should have uh, I think that should be all the important stuff. And I can probably put in like the damage reduction. Function, reload, back cover. Back on time. Let's fight. Bring it. Show me the meat. Right now, I am dodging because it is the greatest skill to learn how to dodge missiles. Ooh, I think he set me on fire there for a minute. So yeah, you can easily annoy someone with this. Good move, potential, not so great. Mm. It's not great, it's not bad, it's not great. Okay. I will fight you, sir. Oh, this is probably the best one to test AC concepts. Oh my god! That was my face! You, sir! You are rude, sir! Oh. Nutmeg! Ah. Use the wall that he's behind to my advantage. That's why you can't get a lock on me. He's hiding. Probably charging an LX cannon. Yeah. He's got an LX. I, I see it. I see it glowing. Ah, did two of them get destroyed? That's not. Oh, man.
good sir, you're not gonna win a fight against me. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, that's what I typically expect. Dang, though. Like I said, for every build, there's a kryptonite out there. And if you know who your opponent's playstyle is going to be, you can generally, like, figure out how to counter them. But I have to say, Armor Core is about making the better mech design to beat the other person. And Nine Breaker makes you really think, like, what's my best design? What can I actually, like, you know, actively be effective in combat. What can I use to really harass them? What can I use to evade them and make them have a hard time hitting me? You gotta think like that. You gotta think of all possibilities for permutation. You know, it can be a little annoying, but you get there. Looking for oh yeah, put on the radar. And that never. That could be the missing piece I needed. Primary weapon. Any primary at this point. Boom. Touch. You got the power. All right. The target requirement for this exercise is 70. Yes. Wonderful. You are depressed. Destroy the barriers as quickly as possible. But of course, my lady. Let's begin. Step one disengage the dead weight.
Stab it with the blade! Shank and shank! Alright, we are shanking away, people. Oh, come on, come on. It's recovered! Not recovered enough. Come on, eject, eject. There we go. Exercise complete. All right, how do we do? Silver? Come on, give me a silver. I don't want the browns. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. I stabbed blocks for you. Come on, give me, give me some good. Come on. Let's, let's try judgment. I haven't done this. I don't remember most of this. I don't remember this. I I, I think nine breaker. This exercise will test weapon armor judgment. Armor but definitely good for training. Your goal is to destroy the designated number of targets. Rah. Complete the task in the time allotted. You're going to throw a bunch of targets for me to shoot at. Okay. Let's begin. I can do it. We got this. Eject. Wait, you're just you're standing there. Why? You're not dead. Wait, what? Wait, they don't... Okay, you... They have a lot of health. They have a lot of health. Uh, I, I heard it, I heard it. I know, I know they're out. Ten targets remaining. I, I, I know I hit that with a... Sh Okay, now I know you're just... That was actively annoying me. Wouldn't surprise. Would not surprise! 60 seconds remaining. Uh, I'm not gonna do good on this, am I? No. Five targets remaining. Eh, eh, it's a recoil. The fact that they added a recoil to the grenade launch just to make it more air accurate is just... Oh, it annoys me so much. Oh. 30 seconds remaining. What? Oh, that hit. I clearly hit. Ah, oh, my god. Complete. Mm. Yeah, Mission yeah, they give me bronze. System switched to normal mode. You know, you know. Should I have the evil jelly bean? No, maybe. I don't know. Spice it up. Spice it up with pain and endorphins. The jelly weapon. Nah, I think this is enough. Well, either way, I've had enough of my suffering for today. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you find something useful out of this, or not, I don't know, perhaps you're just watching this to see how the game's played. All I have to say is in the armor court, get used to sucking, get used to, you know, just getting your ass kicked a lot. You know, always expect that there's always something better, and that the game is against you actively. Right, because it is! It actively plays against you. It will exploit you to the very core. Either way, that's all. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Peace!